Okay, it's room number two, Universal Show. Always a pleasure to have this lady in the building, you know, on a Saturday morning. Always a pleasure. Lovely to be back, man. Oh, man. Can you introduce yourself again, please? My name is Amplified Dot, a.k.a. A Dot. A Dot. I just, I, I just love chilling with you, man. No, but I like chilling with you, though. Seriously. Well, just, you say that to all the girls. No, I don't. I don't. Because, like, today, I really mean it. Oh, so last time you didn't? I didn't really mean it last time. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Facely, man. But today, no, today, like... What's different today? You come really special today. Did I? Because I felt like last time, my chinos got the better of you last time. You thought you beat me in style stakes. Trainers. No, you done me with the sneakers. No, you done me. I'm not going to lie. I put my hands up. Yeah. But the, the chinos, I think I just got that little edge. I don't know, you know. But today... I'm ruining you today, aren't I? Wow. Now, ex- explain that top to me. Cause I've never seen that top. It's dope, isn't it? It's, this is a, a vest from Inner City, and it's just a collage of amazing little pictures. Mm-hmm. Amazing. I like, like you got, it. You've got the queen with a snapback on. You've got Snow White doing drugs, actually, I just realised. <laughs> You got Mickey Mouse stuck in a mouse trap. It's just like it's and just it, like a, coll- a collage of just sick little visuals. But I love it. And then the last time, obviously, when you came, it was like it was really cold. So I didn't. Oh, so I, I didn't see my sleeve. I my didn't tattoo. see the tats. Yeah. Man. Well, now London today, A dot is going in. Thanks, I feel. Babes. I feel like I can just sit here and just talk about how she looks. Aww. Don't do. Don't, come, don't make me. Don't make me. No. Nah. Right. Don't make me shy. Don't. <sighs> You get shy. Don't, Go on, bad mouth, bad mouth, No, don't, don't. I, I, you've made me so embarrassed now. Oh, I can't even look up. I'm just looking down. No, no you look lovely. No, listen, every Saturday, I've always got the man's them in here, innit? Yeah, yeah quite special. But it's nice to have a nice yeah. brown empress in the building. Empress? Yeah. Listen, I've, you've won me over. That's it. All right, Nando's after the show. Anyway, but... Obviously. Obviously, obviously. I've got special officers, actually. <laughs> Hey, oh. Dot, nice to have you here. Thank you for having that me. That's a long introduction. That's, I was like, I just, it's like I forgot everything. It's just me and you, innit? For a minute. It's like are, no we on, one, are we on radio? Are we on like, air? It's like nothing else was around. It's just me and you. We forgot. But let's, let's remember that there's people listening. The eye contact is crazy. Look into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this is like speed dating. Matchstick, I apologise. <laughs> I feel like we're not even an interview. I feel like we're. He just a... looked at me. You know that. You know that real black look. Like fix up. Fix up special. Do you feel like you're on a date? There's no candle. Oh, we're, hold, we're holding. We're holding hands. holding hands right now. Awkwardly though. Awkwardly. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, you're here this morning. Um, talk about the last couple of months. Yeah. What you've been up to? Yeah. Since the Kirko Bang single. Kirko Bang. What's been popping? Just been, you know what? After that, it, it done a bit of groundwork for me, and I just wanted to continue the groundwork with with the follow up single, which is mm-hmm. I'm good, obviously featuring Busta Rhymes, and I've just been kind of wrapping up the album, promoting this song, and what what's been amazing about these last few months has been the festivals, man. Festival season has been has been crazy for me. I've been blessed enough to perform at so many, so it's been a it's been an exciting time for me. What have you learned about yourself, like where live performances are concerned? Is it been like, oh my goodness, wasn't expecting this reception? Do you or... know what? It's crazy when you don't, you don't realize the way that your so- that people, your songs reach people. And mm. it's when you're like, I was in Ibiza doing Ibiza rocks, and there were people singing my songs back, and to do things like Glastonbury and Wireless and Lovebox, it's it's insane to have crowds this big I'd, I'd never done festivals before so to do so many back to back it was it was a great learning experience in terms of in terms of my live show but it was just it was a it was a, a warming experience just to have those kind of audiences definitely. what was the preparation process for your shows how, how did you get geared up for them with, with me I, I you know I hate rehearsals I hate rehearsals because I hate when I go to shows and it feels like oh they're just doing the same show that they do every every time they do it mm. um so for me I, I i'm privileged enough to have my, my my best friend as my dj and another best friend as my hype man mm. so every time we go out there it's the lack of preparation is what makes it amazing because every show is different um and we have kind of the rough framework of what we're going to do what songs we're going to do but we just have a great time on on stage and i think that comes across and i think that's why people have a good time with us when we, when we any, do shows. any highlights from any of the shows that you've done is there anything <sighs> that stands out for you in, in particular um 
I, doing IB for rocks was was insane because just to to when we landed and got off the plane in Spain, we were driving and there was a billboard in Spain with my name on it, um, advertising advertising my performance and I was like, wow, I'd never seen my name on a billboard that big, let alone in a different country. So that just gave me a, a, a just a crazy drive and then the, the, doing the show the next day was, I put my I put my all into that show I mean I, I always leave so much of myself on stage but that night I was like I was so overwhelmed by having seen that that I think it, it just made me put on a crazy now show. for people like myself yet who haven't been invited <clears throat> to see any of your personal performances <laughs> have you got any performances coming up that we can catch you at yeah, in the next few um, months my next, apart from the festivals and all that um, my, my next few performances will be festivals because fest, festival season don't stop man. Well, okay okay got, um, got global gathering um, got sundown as well mm-hmm. um, which I'm really looking forward to and then after that after festival season I'm kind of wrapping up the album um, right. I'm going to be fish- finishing off the album and then in autumn there'll be will be new dates but right now it's finished festival season which is I think defines this time in 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 the mu- in the British music calendar I think to be doing festivals to be, I've, I really feel kind of a part of something that I've, I've watched for so long that's crazy and the thing is you never you you can really maximize that exposure as well yeah. isn't it because the amount of thousands of people that you're playing to thousands of people thousands. at festivals and that may have never even heard of you yeah. as well so it's like it's promotion good yeah. promotion like I did Glastonbury mm-hmm. and for me that was that was an audience of people that probably didn't really know who I was before yeah. I was on stage and then to kind of win over a crowd of people that have maybe come to see the Rolling Stones for example for me, that was an amazing experience, and I think that that is what's so special about festivals. Mm. You you get to to expose yourself to people that necessarily wouldn't wouldn't hear your music otherwise. So. Have you met anybody that's a fan of your music that you've been totally surprised by? They're like, "Yo, I like your music," you know. Do you know who said that they love my music? Waka Flocker. Really? Crazy. And he was like, yo, man, I think I heard something of yours on the radio. Like he had heard me, like while he'd been in the country. Right. And then obviously he saw me at. Um, we both did wireless um, together. We, mm-hmm. I, I came on before him and he caught my show and he was like, yo, I love what you're doing. That was crazy. Wow. That was crazy. If you've just logged on, you're missing it so far. A dot is in the building. My lovely, lovely friend, she's in the building this morning. So glad to see her today. I'm telling you. Look at her just glowing, isn't it? When you see me, just glowing, boy. I can't, I can't contain myself. You, can't, you haven't, you, the smile, you can't even, you know when you try and not smile? Mm. You, you're trying to do the not smile, but I can st- see the smile creeping through. Because I can see it in your eyes. Just can't hold a smile in. Stop it now. <laughs> I get shy very easily, you know. Whatever, man. Bonda! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's talk about your new single. I'm good. Right, now, the last time that you was here, you said um, you couldn't disclose like who you had on the album. Yeah. I know you was keeping it a bit shh. Yeah. And then when I heard the Buster Rhymes, and I was like, you see, you see that, though? You couldn't <laughs> even tell me that. Didn't I, what, didn't I even whisper it in your ear? I thought I told you, like, on the, on the sly. You whispered something, but it wasn't that. Uh, uh, don't start rumours. <laughs> but anyway... But yeah, um, I'm good. Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes. I know, man. It's How? It's, you know what? It's still sinking in for me because I grew up listening to and loving Buster Rhymes. He's one of my... When it comes to hip-hop music, he's one of my big, like, a big, big, big idol. Mm. So... Likewise. To have him on my song, as I said, it's still sinking in. And it was kind of a figment of my imagination to begin with. I'd done the song without him. And I said, oh, Buster Rhymes would kill this. Is there any way we can get him on it? And it was, as I said, it was kind of far-fetched. And it was, you know, we'll send it to him. We may never hear back, but we've got nothing to lose. Sent the song to him. Two days later, I'm on the phone to Buster Rhymes. And he's telling me that he loves the song. And he can't wait to jump on it. Like, that is... I grew up listening to Buster Rhymes. Like... Everything Buster Rhymes done for me was magic. Mm. To then be on the phone with him and he's telling me, yo, yo, that. And he's telling me that he's feeling my song. Wow. It's, cr- it's as I said, it's still sinking in. But yeah, man, and the rest is history, really. Jumped on the track and there you have it. I'm good featuring Buster Rhymes, which is, I think it's a, a very big thing, not only for me personally, but for UK music, mm. where it's it's a, it's a big bridge to have myself and uh, an uh, emerging artist still up and coming to be able to to sit on a track with a legend like Buster Rhymes I, I think. think finally now a dot we're, we're definitely in a climax of music where the Americans actually saying I think it there's some good talent in England, yeah. you know, because they probably wasn't too bothered before. They weren't bothered before. Do you know what I mean? And, and a lot of them in America, not like Buster Rhymes, but I'm just saying a lot of them are struggling. Yeah. Yeah. And um, but um, he, he's probably said to himself, do you know what? 
it is what it is. And he said, Ta- to, he's, yeah, he said to me, I, I've never heard anything like this before because yeah. for them, a, a UK artist, a female rapper with yeah. a UK accent is kind of alien to, yeah. to Americans, uh, let alone another American artist. So I think for me to, to have him saying, you know what, I, this works, I like this, I want to be part of it, was, was a really big deal for me. I tell you what, I really love what you're doing. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to see you. Always a pleasure to see you. You really made my morning. No, it's a pleasure to see you. I know, I know I have. I can tell. How can you tell? I can just tell, but you've made my morning, so it's fine. No, seriously, no. Damn. Put yourself together, man, seriously. Dad, (laughs) how much much would it cost, Dad? How much would it cost? (laughs) No, but thank you so much for having me. I'm good featuring Buster Rhymes out now. Get it. Any last things you'd like to say before you get out the door? Apart from that information where the listeners can correspond with of you. Of course, hey, you follow me on Twitter. Hit me up on Twitter at Amplified Dot. That's Amplified D-O-T. Facebook, Amplified Dot. Instagram, Amplified Dot. UK. Basically, just type Amplified Dot into your search engine. Everything comes up. Everything comes up. Okay, cool. Let's go into your track this morning. Let's do it. I'm good. Featuring Buster Rhymes. Playing now. Out now. Let's go. <laughs>